Welcome to this episode of History Makers. On this episode, we are going to dig deep into culture, deep into the philosophy of Swahili and Swahilism. We'll go deep into hip-hop culture. And today, we are privileged to hang out with one of the best musicians in hip-hop in Kenya. The guy who is giving you Make It A Lesser, Make It A Lily and the rest. All the way from Mombasa, the shores of Indian Ocean is none other than Ka Lamoto. Asante. How are you, bro? I'm good. Nashukuru sana. Abari ya Mombasani, karibu Nairobi. Mombasa, kuko kuzima. Eh? Yani wale wa Mombasa, eh. uh, yuvisa hii wanatazama. Wanafurai sana kuona moja wa wajumbe ambao wa mawatuma eh. kwenye vyombo vya dola. Hapa? Hapa. Ndani ya standard. <laughs> ndani ya mambo na mbona ka la moto mbona ukajiita hot chako yani uh, kwa nini ka uh, mi, nikiwa mm. mdogo nikiwa mm. mdogo mm. Uh, mamangu alikuwa anafanya kazi za kuuza kuuza vitumbua mm. masuala ya Kiswahili Kiswahili vitumbua mm. vya sukari kama hivyo mm. so nikiwa nikiwa naenda skuli mm. naona kabisa na washa jiko mm. na kwenye jiko kunawekwa makaa Mm. Yale makaa yakawa inanifanyisi inan, inan mi kupata hata shilingi tano mm. ya kwenda bre, kupata break time mm. na kitu kama hivyo. Yeah. Alafu nikifikiria kwamba ile kaa liko moto, likizima mm. tunalala njaa kabisa. Mm. So nikapenda sana kuamini kwamba kala moto lina msaada mkubwa kwa wanawake na kwa mm. jamii nzima. Mm. Lakini nikiwa mkubwa hivyo katikati ya, kuna muda fulani nilikuwa nafanya ma, mashindano mm. ya freestyle rap mm. ba, battles na kitu kama hivyo. Mm. So nikawa najiita Jamie Lupo Jamie Vimbochi, mm. unaona? Mm. So wale wa wadana wa, wa, wa ama wadau Mm. wakawa wanasema da huyu kaka moto huyu mm. kaka anachoma huyu mm. kaka ni kaili mm. ni kala moto mm. so jina likapatikana pale lakini kwa ukubwa zaidi nikija utu uzimani sasa mm. ndo nimeanza kujitwika na mziki kabisa mm. um, um, miaka miaka ya 10 utaje mi elfu mbili na nane hapo saba tisa hapo mm. uh, inafikia kwamba kala moto kila akifanya ngoma zake mm. zinakuwa kama anachoma maadili mabovu ya jamii mm -hmm. so nikaona yote nikiunganisha ni kala moto so mpaka leo kala moto kala moto Yeah. Kwa hivyo kala moto kutunza utamaduni kwanza kutunza utamaduni ndio uswahili ni kwanza language uswahili kabisa kabisa na culture yenyewe culture ya Kiswahili yeah. kwa hivyo tunasema kuwa tukikutazama tunaweza sema kuwa mtindo wa hip hop yeah, yeah, hip hop yeah. as a culture and, dio, dio. and the philosophy of hip hop okay sio kwanza kuimba peke yake bali ni kwa maadili ndio ndio na ukiangalia kuendelea na mziki wako do you see that's where you want to position hip hop yeah of course kwa sababu uh, nikirudi kabisa nyuma uh, i was never inspired by nas jay z kris one na rakim mm. siko inspired hivyo nimekuwa inspired na uh, our stories mm. our african stories mm. uh, we got this oral tradition all the way from africa mm. na i'm coming from mombasa coast kuna historia ya miaka eh, elfu na ma elfu na ambazo zimekuwa zinapasiwa from generation to generation mm. so nikawa nafikiria mm. i just need to tell my story mm. to, and to tell the story of my people mm. the mejikenda part the swahili part the swahili culture mm. watu wajue kabisa the first civilization imetokea all the way from manda mm. tulikuwa tuna, tunatengeza vyuma vinaenda kuuzwa warabuni Mm. unaona mm. naongelea mambo na the 16th centuries unaona mm. so vitu kama hivyo vingi so hiyo ndio ikanipatia shahawa mm. ya kuanza kufanya mziki unaona mm. na vile vile kwamba napenda lugha ni kwa sababu mm. lugha swahili ni nyepesi kuna msemo mmoja kuna mmoja kati ya malenga mm. ndio kuwa kuwaona walikuwa walikuja kunambia kwamba mm. haisumbui uh, haisumbui ukiongea lugha ambayo uhitaji kuifikiria unakuwa mkweli unapoongea lugha yako Ukiongea kizungu na maneno mengine uwezi kuwa, ku, ku, kutafsiri. kutafsiri vizuri na kudeliver vizuri kwa sababu sio lugha yako unaona mm. so mimi kwa mimi swahili ni lugha ya mama kwangu mmejikenda mm. the same so i love culture kwa sababu culture inanipa uhuru mm. na inaonyesha ina, ina, ina identity yangu mwenyewe pasi na kuiga culture ni mavazi culture ni vyakula sehemu ya kuishi tamko Ta, yes kabisa yeah kwa hivyo ndio twende kwa leso ya yeah, leso he leso <laughs> wajua leso nyingi sana zina ujumbe ndio kabisa ujumbe wa uswahilini ndio ndio ukitaka kupatia mtu zawadi unampa leso ndio 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 inakuwaje uka uka ukaona uka nikuwa lazima uwe na leso uwe mavazi rasmi kwanza na uh -huh. album yako iwe leso ya mekatilili uh -huh. mekatilili alikuwa kiongozi bora ndiyo, mwanamke ndiyo. bora ndiyo, mwanamke ndiyo. kiongozi yeah, na yeah. leso Uh, asante kwa hilo leso ina inaashiria uzawa mm. kwa nini kwa sababu watoto wote duniani mm. watoto wanapozaliwa wanapokewa na leso mm. 
sote tumepokewa na leso mm. kutoka kwa ukunga hata 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 uwe Kenyatta hospital the same unaona mm. na vile vile leso mm. tukiwa vijana hususan wanaume mm. tunaenda kukatwa govu govu ni kutahiriwa mm. walikuwa watu wanavalishwa leso mm. na vile vile pia ukiwa labda upo na mchumba ama upo kwenye ndoa mm. umemaliza ukata wa kwanza mm. unahitaji kwenda ukata wa pili <laughs> unasubiri uh, uamshe uamshe yeah. inabidi pia utinge leso <laughs> ili mradi vise mzingine zipate ubaridi Alafu ndio uende cha pili na cha tatu. So leso ni uzawa. Alafu unapokuja mekatilili, mekatilili ni mwanamke, eh. mekatilili ni jasiri, eh. mekatilili ndio the first freedom fighter yeah. all the way from 1914, yeah. unaona? Yeah. Ambaye alipiga mzungu, tunajua historia yake nzuri. Yeah. Na pia anaonyesha kwa mwanamke sio dhaifu. Yeah. Tunamsema mmoja tunapenda kusema, "Oya, we sio usilete mambo ya kimama mama, usilete mambo ya kisichana sichana ama kikekike. Kumaanisha it's weakness. But no, mwanamke kama anaweza kubeba mimba miezi tisa. Sisi wanaume hata kijipu cha makalio tungekuwa tuko hivi kwa sababu hatuwezi kustahili ama kuweza ku, 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 kujizulia unaona so leso mekatilili ni stara kwa wanawake ni kuonyesha wanawake pia ni ni, 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 ni jasiri na tunawahitaji our mothers our sisters na our grandmothers lakini pia tukienda kwa upande mwingine ilitokea uh, shughuli moja nilipokuwa mko Mombasa sehemu moja kikambala nilikuwa natembea tu alafu ikapita gari ambayo ilikuwa na watu wa kuja naongelea kuhusu Arabu na vitu kama hivyo wakakanyaga maji maji yakamwagikia ule mwanamke mm. hawakumwambia pole vinginevyo walishukisha dirisha wakamcheka wakaondoka zao mm. mimi nikamfuata ule mwanamke kumwambia pole samahani mm. lakini nikajiuliza huu ni mzawa huu ni mzalendo wa nchi hii huyu ni mkaazi halisi mm. wa pwani lakini anachukuliwa kawaida au ndo kina dama kina luvuno kina kache kina mwanamisi unaona mm. wale ambao sahi labda hapo nje wanaosha vyombo vya vya wageni au wao ndio waweza kuwa wanahitaji wana, wana kupeleka mtoto shule au mm. ndio waweza kuwa hata wamesomewa na muhindi fulana muarabu mm. so nikaamua hii leso mekatilili iwe nawapatia furaha ni waimbe wao ni wakoshe mm. ni waguse mioyo yao mm. ni wakumbuke kwa sababu ni watu baki ambao wame, wameaminishwa kwamba hakuna kazi mji wao mpaka waende Saudi Arabia kuosha vyombo unaona mm. so leso mekatilili ni kama kuboresha tena uh, jinsia kike na pia vile vile kuboresha na sound uh, zetu za asili hususan yes. chakacha yes. uh, peace me, me, me bango harvest, bango uh, uh, bango na mzee ngala yule ngala yupo bado yupo ngala yupo ngala si nimewahi kufanya naye kazi moja ya nisikize mwanangu ngala <laughs> ngala mzee ngala peace kwa uh, icon kazi kabisa kazi kabisa bango yeah. kabisa kipwani yeah. cha kushangaza cha kushangaza mzee alinitafuta mm. kwa sababu aliwahi kusikia habari zangu akaambia kuna kijana ambaye mm. anaupiga mwingi napokuja kwa culture mm. na ni mwana hip hop ni MC mzuri mm. hajui hip hop lakini anajua Hajui kabisa. Kabisa. So wakisikia yale anaona kama ni bango kwa bango ziko kimalenga. Yes. Unajua bango na oh, na hizi nyimbo za Swahili culture za, yes. kama za maremu Jumabalo na yes. watu kama kina Maulidi Juma yes. zilikuwa na ushairi ndani yake. So akanitafuta mimi na mafunzo. Na mafunzo. Ambao hiyo ndo call yes. kubwa ya hip hop. Yes. Yes. Akanitafuta mimi tukakaa aka tukapiga ma story akaangalisha kwake akanambia mimi nataka tufanye kitu fulani mimi mm. nikamwambia sawa pia mimi nataka tufanye kitu fulani mm. so akanambia ah mimi nimeandika nyimbo nyingi unaona toka mm. 1950s huko mm. So kwa nini tusiregelee ngoma nyingine hapa ngoma moja ito nisikize mwanangu mm. ambayo tayari yeye alikuwa amefanya chorus in 1980s unaona hiyo mm. mm. ewe kijana mm. hivi sasa wakuwa mm. watoka mbali e, so nikamwambia basi fresh nikapeleka studio na mimi ndo nikawa msanii wa kwanza kwa kwa historia wa kuwa featured ama kuwa kuficha mzee Ngala na hajawahi kufanya video mzee wajua bango zile bango. zinaenda zenyewe mm. unaona mm. alafu pia hajawahi pia kufanya miziki na kizazi hichi chetu unaona mm. so mimi it's a honor it's so honored uh, na nafikiri nafikiri watu wanafaa wa, wakumbuke kwamba tuna miziki yetu tuliwanzisha hapa same tu tukubali pia sound kama za kutoka luo zile unajua peace mm. kwa nyatiti unajua peace kwa ohangala yani to, we need to impress our own sound and our own, own culture kwa hivyo leso ndio ilitafanya uka uki release album ya leso ya yeah, album ya leso amekatilili ukaenda ndani kabisa kwa Swahili culture Swahili culture and ndiyo. the philosophy of and the philosophy of Swahili kwa yes. sababu yeah kwa sababu kama nilivyotangulia kusema hip hop is really in reality mm. hip is to know hope is the movement mm. you have to know what you're moving into into yes bas yeah. so uh, generation ya sasa hii huwa haijui historia tukirejea hata nyuma kwa sababu wewe na mimi ni washabiki mzuri wa hip hop sio uh, in Kenya right now tuko kwenye four generation ya hip hop ya kwanza the fourth, iki, yeah, the fourth, fourth generation, generation yeah. ya kwanza ikiwa watu kama kina Jimmy Hudson Jimmy Gathu yeah. kina Fundi Frank uh, MC Stopper unaona mm. kina um, 
wa, wachungu weusi mm. alafu hao ndo walitokea kuweza ku, kuwa majaji katika uh, star search yeah. unaona star search ambao star search imetoka imetoa watu kama kina case shaka unaona the case shaka the case out unaona mm. alafu mashifta why second generation na kuna case shaka na mashifta ni kwa sababu hao ndo wameanza kuleta culture ya hip hop hao wengine walikuwa na rap kwa sababu hata rap them monday kama nakumbuka mm. it was more like dancehall thing unajua yeah. hard stone waki rap ni wana rap lakini mm. hao sasa wakaleta the dandora culture the, the kwahola culture, culture the street culture yeah. the graffiti the dj mm. the mc unajua mm. uh, maswala kama the b boxing nona mm. the break dance mm. hao ndo wakaanza mm. wakiwa to the 2000 Florida, Florida. 2000, Florida. Yes. thank you so much yeah. so hapo ndo au au ndio ndio ikawa chimbuko la kabisa hii hip hop hii ambayo iko sasa unajua watu wasema kwa Florida 2000 ni zako Lotenia New York theater Ka, kabisa kabisa music ndio ndio hapo ndio unaona darling p gidi gidi maji maji asante sana the kitu sua yes. unaona watu wakatoka pale na sasa hiyo sound bado inabebwa hiyo ni 90s sasa hiyo ni 90s paka 2000 au ndo second generation Ndiyo. sound hiyo bado inabebwa kwa sababu generation inakuja inakuja kubalika baada ya sound imebadilika sawa hata kali miaka mitatu minne mitano Ndiyo. kwa sababu hawa ndo wame hawa hapo ndo kuna ma, the mashifters ndo wanakuja wanachukua watu wa dandora wanasema hii ni mau mau yes. unaona magongo watu kama achompon clan all the way uh, kina chizen brain na rc wanasema hii ni uko fulani ambao yeah. sharama walikuwa watapeli walikuwa na kikundi cha watapeli okay. kuna niggas wa mashada ambao ni kina kanibal. kina pop sasa kanibal hakuwa uko fulani lakini alikuwa affiliated sana yeye yeah. alikuwa black uh, black, black ma, muslim yes. shono yeah. uh, ambao sasa wao pia wamekuja hapo sasa hiyo ndo generation hiyo ambao kuna watu kama kina zinga hapa huko kuna clipto pop yuko hii ni second generation <laughs> watu kama watu kama watu kama waona kama ke south ndio yes. waka inspire watu kama kina kleptomanias the nyashiski the colo Shon, mm. generation hiyo hiyo um, kina chiwawa hawa ushaona hapo mm. hapo generation hiyo hiyo ndo kuna mashifta kuna kina Juliani wanakuja ku, ku kutoka toka kabisa hiyo yes. imeenda paka 204 mm. unaona 204 205 mm. unaona mm. ambao sasa industry ya hip hop ilikuwa ni kubwa sana in sana, Kenya sana. in East Africa kwa sababu tusiregee tusisahau kwamba 1996-7 kisha mm. kaenda Nigeria wanafanya mambo mageuzi makubwa Benzo na Hages thank you so much peace Concert peace kwa jamaa unaona mm. na vile vile inakuja kwamba hapo kina prezo pressure usisahau epoxy sasa epoxy pressure ni first generation kabisa kabisa eh so uh, generation ya pili ndo wamekufanya wame mpaka wamepata deal keishaka kwa majani mm. pfunk majani mm. wameanza kufanya na kina saigon hapo hapo ndo kuna maswala kama kina prezo na ay unaona hapo mm. hapo ndo kuna kina Uh, Jmo anakuja huko kina langa unaona mm. maremu wale hapo mm. hapo ndo kuna miziki mingi ya ya makolabu mingi mingi ya East Africa, East Africa. unaona Nako tunako Nako tunako in Tanzania sasa the Nako tunako Hasla. the Ibra the Hasla wako hapo mm. the J Mos unaona kwa sababu J Mo wate ule wame wamekuwa wame, uh, uh, imagine talent search yao uh, kama dunga dunga mandugu digital dunga alikuwa ndo ndo kama jaji pale unaona yeah. so hapo second generation wako wengi kwa sababu watu hapo hapo ndo kina nonini wanaona ah hii iko sana dandora ngoja tuipeleke California mm. na kina jua kali cuz jua kali ni jua California sio mm. tufanye tuseme pia mambo yetu ya culture yetu ya ya huko Maisili na California mm. ndo hapo sasa wanakuja genge mm. with uh, with uh, ndu, uh, ndu, uh, ndugu zetu hao shona okay. inakuja pia story kama the ogopas na Lucas hapo hapo the Easters wanatoka so that was the second generation mm. how ndo can inspire the third generation and both third generation nyingi nyingi imetokea wakati wa wapi was in picture mm. mimi nikisema wapi was in picture huwa nasema calligraph jones the calligraph the kalamoto the octopizo the cave of cave force unaona yes. the, the our battle rap imeanza hapo yeah. the excalibur na ujiji hapo mm. hapo ndo kina kaka sungura unaona hapo mm. hapo ndo camp mullers yani hiyo sasa sound inaanza kubadilika wengine wanafata yale walo yalofanya na baba zao the uko fulani yes. na wengine wanakuja na sound ndio mpya kama the uh, the camp mulams ambao wanafuata the, uh, the european uh, the, the american style ya, ya, ya watu kama watu kama nani waletwaje huyu uh, jamaa alifariki huyu peace kwa jamaa huyu uh, kantai unaona yes. chris kantai uh, eh, chris kantai na inspired kama kina camp mula kina calligraph unaona kina bambu na inspire au vijana mm. so the third generation ndio imekuja sana ma entrepreneurship nyingi mm. na ma deals mingi lakini mm. tusisahau the second generation kulikuwa na deal nyingi bado sana sana, sana. watu walivaa fubu wazungu wengi lakini mm. sasa wazungu ndio waliua culture <laughs> wasichana wa wazungu huwa wanaitaga culture vocher ah, kwa sababu the funny walikuwa wengi sana kwenye hii culture <laughs> british council walikuwa wanakuja wanapiga picha na watu lakini the funny 
funny thing huo anasema uh, what what killed hip hop uh, wakati huo ni lack of investors to kulikuwa na investors investment Ma, nyingi mm-hmm. lakini kibiashara jamaa walikuwa kwenye artistic mood sana alafu mambo mambo na biashara walikuwa ni kama sasa wana ile passion upendo ndio upendo mm-hmm. lakini mwisho siku upendo na hela ndio upeo unaoendelea wanakuambia kama ile hela make sense sio mm-hmm. so hapo ndo mashida shida kama hapo ndo drugs ikaanza kuintroduceiwa why, why because sasa watu wamefanya mwingi wamekuwa na majina alafu wapati support nzuri although walipata support ya media hip hop ya katule mm-hmm. lakini pia wakaanza wenye wenye shida ndogo ndogo ambazo zikaumiza ta generation tumekuja hakuna structure ya hip hop mm-hmm. unaona mm-hmm. lakini hata ukiongea na the second generation wakaambia first generation kwa hakuna structure ya hip hop mm-hmm. tulibidi tutengeze wenyewe tukaanza sasa ku, ku, kulazimisha watu wajue utamaduni tena uh, the, uh, watu kama kina calligraph walete entertainment tena unaona mm-hmm. watu kama kina kakasungura wafanya lufanya juliani maswala ya entrepreneurship kupiga masuti kuingia ofisini unaona mm-hmm. so the third generation ikaja na maswala mengine kama mm-hmm. sasa hii tunafurahi pia the fourth generation ambao fourth generation right now ime inspire wana hizo trap sana mm-hmm. the drill sana unaona the trio meals the wakardinali mm-hmm the gengeton ambao imes gengeton ni kizazi cha genge unaona ambacho kimekuja ambacho kilikuwa lakini sasa hichi kimekuja kipya mm. so right now in Kenya tuko kwenye four generation ya hip hop lakini yote ni culture na pia kia culture iko diversity mm. iko versatile mm. Una, unaweza kubadilisha kwa mfumo wako ila mm. usisahau identity yako na uniqueness yako twende pale kwenye generation ya pili ambapo kulikuwa na masuala mengi tu ya kwanza ya watu madawa ye yeah, ye yeah. uh, second generation pale kulikuwa na watu wengi ambao wamefungwa hata wengine wameenda jela ya yeah, kuna dolo me... nini free dolo i remember yeah, wameenda yeah. jela yeah. kumekuwa na mat... shida nyingi tu yeah, yeah, yeah. ili kuwaje ambapo tukafika hatuwezi endelea kupata muziki mtu ajikuze na aishi vizuri um, ya kwanza wanakuambia mazingira ubalisha tabia mm. mazingira the surrounding can change the behavior mm. Uh, mimi nikiwa na hang na wewe mm. obviously nitapata nita, nita nitapata ile harufu na wanakuambia nitapata harufu na, na upeo fulani wa CEO mm. sio mm. lakini mimi niki hang na mtu ambaye kidogo akili finyu mm. nitakaa vile vile mm. so um, Uh, jamaa wengi wa second generation uh, we love them so much they are big brothers sema tu sana ni kwamba aso, uh, association yao nyingi ilikuwa passion walikuwa na passion ya mziki one walikuwa labda discouraged na na, mas, na system nzima ilivyokuwa inabadilika wengi wako kubali change mm. wengi waliona kama the isas and the sibi nani that's hiyo sio hip hop lakini wanasahau kwamba wao ni, ni, ni kizazi cha kusaidia kina isa wa rap mm. kwenye kapuka unaona mm. mm. kukawa na hizo vita tu za ku hate mm. hating kwa sababu hawa naenda vizuri ni wanasahau kwamba real hip hop ipo ya mtaani ipo street yes, unaona yes, ukitaka huku basi fanya pop unaona mm. so ilikuwa ni watu wa, wa beatbox niko iko unaona beatbox niko graffiti yeah. iko unaona kwa sababu hip hop sio ku MC ama ku rap tu hip hop hata DJ ni hip hop yes. unaona so uh, flow ni hip hop kabisa graffiti hip hop Bboxing, bboxing, uh, street people. fashion, street people. language, unaona no, entrepreneurship zote yeah. ni hip hop. Yeah. So kulikuwa na sababu nyingi ya wao watafute watu usika. Watafute mtu ambaye anajua nikiconnect na huyu nitapata hela na itani stahamili. Mm. Ila watu walikuwa nafikiria maisha ya hapa hapa. Hawakujua kama watazeeka. Walidhani watakaa miaka 20 paka paka kesho. Hawakujua muda pia unaondoka. <laughs> unaona? Na pia ukali wanazaliwa wengine. Wakali wanakuja kila Alafu siku. kama mtu yuko kwenye prime, unajua hizi vitu ni masuala ya Mungu kutupatia. Yeah. Leo ukiwa uko hapa, uh, jaribu kusaidia as much as as much people as you can kwa sababu ile siku ukiwa haupo labda utawahitaji mm-hmm. unaona mm-hmm. wengi wapo hapo nikisema hivyo ni kwamba watu walikuwa na ubinafsi mwingi lakini pia labda support ya media ilikuwa haiji kama walivyotarajia mm-hmm. walikuwa na expectation nyingi sana ambazo uh, ziliumia kwa mfano mimi mahapi nikiona Jimmy Gatu first generation mm-hmm. sijui mtu kama uh, fundi Frank first generation mm-hmm. paka sasa yuko kwenye fourth generation anaishi vizuri watu wako na miaka 50 mm-hmm. na na wako salama mm-hmm. lakini second generation wengi hata sahihi nikikwambia uh, uwa wanawaambiaga wengine nikikaa nao nawaambia kaka zangu uh, miaka inaenda tunahitaji kujenga familia alafu hip hop sio uhuni ila wapo wahuni tu ndani ya hip hop unaona <laughs> eh um, ni kama soka kama soka unaona eh, eh, soka si uhuni lakini kuna wahuni ndani, ndani ya soka kumaanisha pia uh, reception yako unavyojileta uh, wajua unavotokea hivi ina define ni nani unaona iqness um, uh, ya, ya, ya heshima unapewa kivipi unaona lakini kama bado wewe unaamini kwamba wewe ni mkali ku rap lakini baada ya rap hakuna chochote tukitoa rap wewe ni mbumbu unaona so hapo sasa unaona kama mimi ukitoa rap 
Ukitoa hip hop bado kuna culture sabuni hip hop. Ukitoa culture bado kuna language sabuni culture. Ukitoa language bado kuna martial arts sabuni culture. So walihitaji kuwa na extra. Walikuwa wanahitaji kuwa na extra alafu wajue uh, masuala ya biashara. Wajiunge na biashara na hip hop ina kitu kimoja wanapenda kusema. Hip hop ina attitude na ego nyingi. Ya maana ego lakini hana kitu. Eh? Kumfata CEO kumwambia oh babu ni aje mimi na ngoma yangu hivi nataka yanafikiria kwamba zile opportunities zitakuja kwake. Kumfata mtu kama mtu wa Palza wakina Steve oh babu mimi na ngoma nimetoa nini? Anaona mimi ni mtu fulani ama kama Mika Lamoto. Ah mimi Mika Lamoto ni legend watakuja wenyewe. Baba yeah. opportunities zina yeah. knock ones. Opportunities comes yeah. ukiwa na ukiwa na working clothes. Huwa nasema msemo. <laughs> Uwezi kuwa unatarajia kuitwa kwenye uh, mahojiano kama haya. Yeah. Alafu wewe uko baharini. Unaona opportunity comes ukiwa una nguo zako sahihi. So tulihitaji kuwa tulihitaji kuwa tuna na, na, kushuka chini, kushukisha chini. Na hiyo naisema kwanza kwa four generation right now. Uh, Nimeona vijana baadhi wana ego nyingi ambao ndio leo una trend, leo una jina, leo una title. Lakini ale majina uisha alikuwa ako pale nyota ndogo pale pale alikuwa malikia ya rukia mm. pale pale alikuwa jumabalo mm. pale pale alikuwa mzee ngalo wakati huo mm. sema tu alikuwa hako na masuala ya radio na tv alikuwa king sing and beg bad hapo hapo ndo alikuwa king sing na beba hapo yeah. hapo ndo alikuwa mtu kama uh, mtu mtu kama utaje susan huyo hapo yeah. hapo ndo alikuwa mtu kama labda wa huu mm. so labda wewe kwa kuwa umetoka unaona unapendwa tiktok unapendwa instagram unapendwa facebook unaona basi naenda wakati wetu sisi alikuwa hata kuna vyombo vya habari uh, social yeah, media social sorry media. ambazo zilikuwa chache mm. sisi alikuwa tu trend unabidi una rap mzee mpaka mdomo unapasuka unaona unabidi kama ni kuandika unaandika paka rhymes kabisa yani una, una, unabidi ulazimishe watu kwamba hii ni nyimbo kali sio mambo nzuri mm. haikuwa na masuala ya hizi favor favor za kubebana bebana kwa sababu wengi wanaobebwa wanasawa hata umbali wa safari alafu baadaye wanakuja kumtokana aliyembeba mwanzo but in real sense uh, music as a whole it's, it's, it's a lifestyle thing Shona, mm. isiwe masuala tu watu wamekuja kufanya wachukue hela waondoke zao. Kesho kutwa ukivunja zile daraja na atakuvusha. Kwa hivyo second generation kwa kwa na shida. Yeah. Third generation ikawa wapi? Ikawa wapi was and pictures. Words and pictures. Yeah, mimi wanasema gani wapi waliuliza wapi my MC because hapo ndo the the, the kapukas ni kubwa the genge ni kubwa. Mkubwa. So we need wapi to bring wakaya. back the real MCs. Real yes. Yeah, yeah. So real MCs wakaja. Wakaja. Topizo wakawa kwanza kutokelezea. Eh yeah, the wapis wakati wapo yeah akawe kabisa namba nane kibera anatangaza mtaa wake mtai kabisa yeah, yeah. tukapenda sana namba same. nane yeah. kakasungura katoka islands the, the islands uke evoke for spear kuko kibera. kibera watu kama kina smalls little, smalls little. kalamoto ndo swahili unatoka small little aka kisi kisi kalamoto na anatoka anatangaza mombasa, mombasa uswahili wake ndio so hiyo so, you know generation hiyo ecstatic zawa na hiyo generation kuna na lot of entrepreneurship of course of apart course apart from Juliani ambaye yule ambaye alikuwa yeah, na yeye ni second ambaye alikuwa ana ana alikuwa na second ana anakuja tu mbali alikuwa na maono mbali yeah, yeah. aka nyumba ndio hiyo akajenga pale akanunua nyumba yeye yeah, 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 yeah. anaendelea vizuri kabisa anaishi vizuri yake anaishi vizuri kabisa bank vizuri bado ana connections kama kawaida kama kawaida na yuko humble kama kawaida kama kawaida yeah, kwa hivyo yeah. inaonekana yeye alikuwa amejua kuwa mziki ndio yeah sio mwisho Asante. muziki ni lazima ni step stone tu ya, ya, ya maisha mazuri mazuri yeah, yeah. ni nini tofauti kabisa na second generation wenzake ndio kabisa Yo, moja kati ya vitu ambao watu wanamu hate Juliani kutoka kwa click yake ni kwamba jamaa alifanikiwa na anaheshimu watu ambao walimkuza yeye na yupo bado na yupo bado ni sawa na generation yetu ya tatu mm. unaona watu kama kina kaka watu na mabiashara na wamesaini ma, wasanii wanaenda yeah. kala moto ana mabiashara amejenga nyumba ana mambo yake ana kubwa studios yeah. pia ana, ana record label ana wasanii wake mm. Ka, kama calligraph ni mtu ambaye anatangaza kabisa uh, muziki hapa huko Nigeria na watu kwa sababu ameamini kizungu kitampeleka sio mm. uh, so generation hii mm. ya tatu kila mtu alibidi apate mgao wake wewe unasema hivyo mm. Kama mimi niliamua kukumbusha watu kwamba hii hii culture nitaibeba ile ambayo ilikuwa na uko fulani maumau sijui nini hii nitaibeba nitakuja yeah. nayo cuz mimi ukinisikia mimi unaweza shangaa watu wanaonipenda mimi ni ma first generation na second generation mm. Wa, kwa sababu wanaona kama i'm telling their stories ama na ama na na, 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 na lazimisha watu waamini yani mimi ndo the the the, 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 the ndo na kama na rewrite tena 
whatever watu waliona lakini wakaona ni uhuni kwa sababu tusikatae tu wajua inaweza kuwa kikundi kilikuwa kila mtu ni mzuri no. muhuni ni mmoja ama mmoja kwa kutumia madawa mm. lakini inatokea kwamba nyote mta, mta associate kikundi kizima na madawa no, wakati hip hop sio madawa tusi associate hip hop na masuala binafsi so mimi najaribu ku clean yale matatizo ambao media manini waliweza kuwapatia ku kushtumu wale jamaa mm. either zilikuwa zinafanyika ama alikuwa zifanyiki yeah. lakini tatizo anaanzaje mtu kutumia madawa ni kwa sababu hakuwa na watu waliomfikia yule jamaa kumwambia acha hakuwa na watu waliomfikia yule jamaa kuinspire hakuwa na ama labda, labda, labda pia alikuwa askizi unaona mm. ego ilikuwa ni kubwa sijui hiyo mm. ni yeye na Mungu wake lakini inapokuja mtu kama kaka kaka anachukua ile entrepreneurship kaka anafanya kitu ambacho Juliana alifanya ile mambo sa kufa ofisini copyright kupata my endorsement nini na anaupiga ana mwingi mm-hmm. sawa mtu kama calligraph calligraph anafanya the same thing alifanya kantai may his re, may, may his so, uh, rest, in rest in peace, peace. alafu yes. na mtu kama bambu uzungu uzungu the camp mullers ana wa, kama kampula alishindwa kufika BT mm-hmm. ama walifika lakini hakuweza sasa calligraph anajaribu kupitisha pale kuonyesha kwamba hata kiingereza kipo Kenya Unaona? Mm. Nyashiski pia ni mtu wa second generation lakini amekuja akabeng na sisi third generation na yupo paka fourth generation sasa anapiga mangoma yake na anaonyesha watu anaweza rap na anaweza imba na ni mtu ambaye amefanya matukio makubwa juzi Nairobi. Mm. Unaona? Mm. Ma karibia 12 mm. wamekuja pamoja na jamaa akafanya show ya live. Mm. So hapo pia ina, ina, inafundisha watu kwamba hip hop ina utajiri mwingi na ukakasi mwingi. Mm. Pasi tu kufata mkondo mzuri. Unaona? Tukienda pale hapo Tanzania unaona kuwa generation yao ya pili tuanze ya kwanza ya watu kwanza. kama KU Zavara he, HBC ambao yes. ni kina fanani yes. tu, tuende kwa GWM niggas wa matatizo ambao ni kina Kiaramule yule jamaa anapiga mapanga kwa kwa kamwa kwa kina manager moto eh J Kiaramule GWM wale ndo first generation diplomats chambua kwa uwezo usitumie irizi asante kamua baba <laughs> kamua <laughs> baba thank you kamua, so usitumie irizi watu wamefanikishwa na eh, hivyo yeah. so you are the first generation kabisa, kabisa no? ambao pia diplomats diplomats ni kina Saigon mm. eh, rusha mikono yako hewani hewani kama unapenda hifani au sio mm. nipo nipo anakuambia nipo nipo ninatoka miaka tisina sijui Tanzania vina kuna ushirikina unamuulize mm-hmm. Kalopina huyo yeah. ni Saigon Saigon, Saigon ni yes. diplomats yes. Wana, wa, wa, walikuwa ni kikundi mm. uh, hao ndo first generation mm. lakini hao wanakuja ku inspire second generation ambao professor anatokea anajiunga na HBC mm. anatoka kama solo MC mm. lakini first generation kabla hajaisha kulikuwa na mtu kama Sugu Mr. Tu been the first MC in East Africa kuanza rap kama hiyo kitabu kwa ni vikundi vingi mm. yale kutoka kama solo artist kutoka alitoka solo mm. Mr. Tu ambao sasa ana, ana, ana miaka kama ya 50 au ni first generation amekuwa mm. mbunge eh amekuwa mbunge sasa hapo ndo tofauti na Kenyan hip hop mm. kwa sababu wao wanazungumza Sugu amekuwa mbunge miaka mingapi Sugu ame Sugu ana, ana utajiri sasa. gani unaona mm. tukitoka hapo second generation kuna mtu kama professor J AY unaona East Coast crew unaona mm. watu kama kina Crazy GK uh, kina kina ndugu zangu kina mwana FA mm. Fidi Q anatokea hapo kutoka Mwanza analeta ule hapo TMK hapo mm. the Juma Natures the Expector Harun unaona yani Semba, wote hapo mm. ambao hapo sasa kuna marapa DJ Mo the Solo Tang and hiyo JD ndo hapo second generation mm. ambao ndo kama ilivyo ilivyo huko sababu hapo hapo ndo kina nako tunako nini hapo ndo second generation kabisa mm. unaona mm. lakini mtu um, kama Arusha Explasters walikuwa kitambo muda eh, watu kama hardcore units wakina mm. JCB na mm. Lodies walikuwa hardcore units mm. kabla hajafika hip hop ya ya, ya iye wewe usi sasa hivi hapo ndo kina Juma Kini second generation mm-hmm. hao ndo wamekuja inspire third generation watu kama kina Roma watu kama kina Chidi Benz unaona mm-hmm. watu watu kama watu wa, yani hapo ndo kuna the Roma Chidi Benz the atoaje wa kina stamina the Nicki Mbishis unaona mm-hmm. kikosi kazi the one the incredible kazi, yeah. peace kwa jamaa hapo mm-hmm. ndo jamaa wengi wamepata hapo ndo kama sisa sisi huko unaona mm-hmm. kwa sababu unaona second generation watu kama Langa na Ngwea walifanya hip hop ya Tanzania ikaingia ika, ika, club huko mm-hmm. professor J walifanya hip hop unaweza imba dakika sita na ukaleta story storytelling mm-hmm. uh, Fidiki ndo mtu amefanya East Africa watu wakaanza kuleta ma punchline sijui mm-hmm. ukinipiga ngumi ya jicho nitakupiga ngumi ya sikio ukiuliza naonaje mimi nitakuliza unasikiaje mm-hmm. so ukiangalia ah huyu jamaa metafa anaipata wapi mm-hmm. so watu kama hao walifanya vizuri lakini angalia mwanefe mpaka sasa second generation mm-hmm. yupo bungeni 
AY ni mtu ambaye anayachi ni mtu ambaye ameconnect East African uh, Tanzania ame introduce Tanzanian music Kenya Nairobi alikuwa paka yuko huku na dada yetu kama unakumbuka story ya hiyo <laughs> eh alikuwa ana, anakuja hapa kila wakati paka kwa sababu alikuwa iko university kabisa Nairobi unaona mm -hmm. yeye ndo amepeleka hata South, South Africa unaona mm -hmm. yeye ndo ameanza kufanya video za kwanza mm -hmm. nzuri ogopa hapa unaona na kimba na kina Jaguar mm -hmm. na watu kama Prezo unaona mm -hmm. so the second generation of Tanzania inafurahisha pia vizuri vizuri third generation vile vile mm -hmm. fourth generation ndo hao kina the young lunyas unaona ambao mm -hmm. ameinspire na na watu kama kina Young D na Country mm -hmm. Boy unaona uh, kuna hawa sasa hawa vijana wapia wapia the money nini ambao muziki unaenda vizuri kwa na, unaona second generation na kutunako of course of course uh, yeah peace kwa lodais yeah lodais lodais alikuwa aliweza kutoka kwa madawa yeah. akarudi sasa hivi kwa reform weusi weusi na wanafanya vipi ya madawa kabisa yeah yeah sana paka kuna time oh, inasemekana alipiga siju obidimples kuna time inasemekana siju alivunja gari ya nani yeah. lakini sasa the, the dude is so sober and real hata tusende huko twende kwa cheese and brain cheese and brain ambao ni, ni generation kabisa ya pili uh, kutoka ya kwanza kuja ya pili hapo ya pili kutoka the uko fulani unaona yeye yuko soba right now yuko nene mm. unaona mm. mimi wanaaji watu uh, tunaanza acha hizo vitu unaona mm. to see let story kwamba ati kiingia itoki tena inawezekana ikaacha mm. na watu waka, wakaweza kuishi vizuri tu because we really need them mm. we really need them ka let's yeah. go we've discussed about music we've discussed about culture culture we've yeah. discussed about so, momba uswahili momba sana yeah Let's go to karate. You are a national champ. You've trained Kenyans. Yeah, yeah, you are yeah. you are a sports person. Yeah, I'm a sport person. How actually. do you mix music and sports? Um uh, uh, being in karate. Karate is uh, it's more discipline actually. Na martial art right now uh, for me uh, what what made me love is the the street uh, uh, defense and the street uh, the the discipline actually need. Na nimekuwa kwenye Kenyan team uh, nikacheza na ikafika muda pia nikafundisha watu wengine and peace kwa one of uh, my good teachers anaitwa Sensei Mustafa actually sasa ni Shehan Mustafa yuko fifth dan black belt for now mimi ni Sensei ni na third dan black belt in karate na Mombasa nafundisha baadhi ya skuli na kitu ninachokufundisha sio kupigana tu it's not about kicking and punching it's about the discipline the subconscious mind alafu na the physical unaona na um, karate is good kwa sababu ina ina inasaidia sana unaona inasaidia sana afya na vitu kama hivyo yeah umekuwa Kenya team kwa muda ya miaka misaba minane hapo na unajua Kenya bado tuna hizo shughuli za kwamba inapendwa ipendwi martial art ni kupigana vitu kama hivyo lakini tuna tunajaribu tuna, tuna kutoa elimu kwa hata vizazi vinazokuja mimi wanatrainisha ga schools in Mombasa natrainisha watoto natrainisha watu wazima natrainisha private classes in Mombasa karate shotoka but then i did already at taekwondo back in the days i did wong chang ambao ni maswala kucheza yeah, visu ma dragon zile cha mm. nunchucks mm. na watu ambao wananijua wanajua ninachokifanya na nimekuwa bo, bodyguard wa baadhi ya watu wakubwa tu <laughs> mji ule yeah. so for me uh, karate is, is 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 not about kicking and punching it's about the the discipline and the self defense and also the health part and the discipline is needed in hip hop of course ngoma yako ya mwisho hii una album mpya uh, feed kwa yuko ndani uh, feed hata yuko feed wako yuko uh, feed wao wako kwenye album nyingine unless umekatilili uh, ni, ni, ni kama nilivyosema ni kusherehesha wa 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 kusherehesha nyimbo za kusherehesha so niko na uh, alba, uh, feature kama mimi na had the band yes. mimi na watu kama kina masauti kina ed singer mercury mm -hmm. unaona niko na kina escoba wale kina chikuze unaona nimechukua generation to photo photo nikawachanganya pamoja paka kina lavida na kina don marlin mm -hmm. so album ipo hapo leso amekatilili mm -hmm. but kama wewe umesikia album hiyo hiyo ingine hiyo hiyo ni exclusive kabisa <laughs> so ime, imekuwa hivyo yani yeah. so ulipataje jemo ukampata jua kali ukampata <laughs> fidikiu yeah. ukampata rafiki yangu jinako the ama ibrahim rafiki yangu nani mwingine jo makini jo makini um, weusi uh, actually unajua real real real, real recognize real unaona mm. mkuu anamjua mkuu ni mwenzie mm. uh, mtu kama uh, feed q feed q ni mtu ambaye we come way back tunajuana ni mandugu tunaongea mambo mengi pas na mziki unaona mm. same as jmo and jinako and uh, ay unaona ni watu ambao wananipenda ninachokifanya mm. na mimi napenda ninachokifanya mm. so inakuwa rais mimi na wao kufanya kazi kwa sababu we got the love of swahili hip hop na pia they respect me and they give me my flowers every time and i do the same to them mm. so hiyo ndio ilitokea hivyo yani
yeah. wote wakaja sherehe Waka, wa, wa, e, na album ambayo album itatokea hiyo itakuwa exclusive nzuri hiyo lazima tuwe pamoja kwenye ile album kabisa kabisa itakuwa kabisa itakuwa lazima, lazima lakini huku tuambia vyakula vya Mombasa huko kwa ah, Allah ukija Mombasa ni vizuri sana kuitisha <laughs> masuala kama biryani uh, biryani Kiswahili ni culture na chakula kabisa kuna masuala biryani uh, mm. Mombasa unajua kuna muda sana wabara walikuwa wanapoteza nauli wanakula paka nauli uh, kwa nini ni kwa sababu madada wa kule wamepitisha wame unywagoni wameenda unyagoni wameenda ku, kufundishwa jinsi ya ku, ku, kumkahini mwanamume <laughs> jamaa uh, nauli naisha nauli watu wamekula nauli watu wamesawa hata kwao watu kuna mtu alibalisha ali passport uh, alibalisha passport na visa kutoka kwenda Ulaya akaibalisha tu akachukua rumu afa akawa tu anashereheshwa na mdada tu na hii si masuala kwamba watu kuna juju ama kwamba wame wamerogwa ana nini mm. ni vile tu ni mkarimu nakuja nyumbani anakuambia karibu ana, anakuchekea tabasamu <laughs> unaona mm. ameoga vizuri amefukiza kufukiza ni ku eh yeah. yani harufu inakuwa nzuri alafu mm. pia anajua jinsi ya kukuchekesha na kudekeza <laughs> asante. Yeah. asante ndugu asante sana mshukuru asante sana history makers yeah, yeah. kama mjui basi hunana na other kala, kala, kala moto yeah. yani jiko moto pasi yeah, kabisa album yake inatoka album nzuri sana yeah. album imemhusisha of course yeye na fidki mm. uh, kuna jemo yeah. kuna jinako je jo makini ewai julia jua kali hiyo sani nyingine na ukuja lakini kwa sasa mm. wa, wa, wa stream actually boom, uh, online sasa hii ipo album hiyo leso amekatilili ambayo ina ngoma 12 mm. alafu shout out to wa, wa Alimanzo ambaye alifanya intro mm. na pia shout out to Kubwa Studios ambao ni studio ya kwangu mm. uh, Grandmaster Techniques ndo producer alitengeza album mzima so mm. yeah Asante kaka. Asante sana mimi nafurahi sana. Nafurahi sana. Mungu atuweke. Okay. Tuendelee ku, ku, kueneza neno. <laughs> Amani. Hip hop. Keep it hip hop. Keep it hip hop. Keep it real. Keep it real. Peace. Peace.